Welcome to It's a Biology Game, the quiz show that nobody asked for, and your host, Alfredo Garcia. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody, to It's a Biology Game, the quiz show that you did not wish to watch. But since I'm the host and the teacher, I do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's meet today's contestants. He's a video game developer producing entertaining games for your favorite consoles. Known for his work in Mulaka and Hunter's Legacy, welcome him with an applause. DJ! Our contestant number two is a mechatronic engineer who works at an important automobile company. He has the knowledge to become Iron Man, but he doesn't feel like saving the world. Give it up for Manolo! Our last contestant is a serious biotechnologist with years of experience cloning plants and bacteria. Certainly not afraid of coronavirus, but follows the official instructions to stay home. He may look boring, but he's a fun gentleman. Make some noise for Ali! Welcome, welcome. It's our pleasure to have you here to play It's a Biology Game. Let me explain you the rules. Simple. The game will be divided into two phases. The first phase, the selectionator, in which you will choose one of the questions from the board. After that, I will read said questions and you'll have 20 seconds to answer each one of them. Whoever gets the most correct answers, move on to the next phase, while the other two will just Go home. The second phase, the finalizator. The contestant will have to answer the remaining seven questions of the board, one by one, having only 10 seconds to answer it. If he makes one single mistake, he will have to go home as the big loser he is. But wait a minute. Not only this contestants play today, everyone at home plays as well. You have to, okay? This is your grade for today's classwork, so please pay attention. So, while these guys are thinking their answers, you at home, make sure you type in your answers in the chat and click send. Later, after the class is over, I will check the answers. Yeah, let's see who wins from home. Now, back to our contestants. Are there any questions, guys? Okay, so let's move on to phase number one, the selectionator. Contestants, would you please choose your questions from the board? Gigi, which question will you choose? Hmm. I think I'll go for question number one. Sure, I'll go for question number one. Perfect choice, Gigi. Now, Manolo, have you thought about a question yet? I want question number seven, please. Perfect, question number seven. And finally, Alex, which question will you choose? Um, I think I'll choose number three, Mr. Garcia. Excellent, we have questions one, seven, and three in that order. I will start reading the first question and you will have 20 seconds to answer it. Remember at home, make sure you type in your answers as well. Just to make a test, I want everyone to type in the word ready and send it to me. I'll give you 20 seconds. Seems like some people didn't type in fast enough, okay? Make sure you're paying attention, make sure you are ready, because we're moving on, and this is your classwork grade of today. And the first question says, who begins puberty first? A, boys, or B, 
girls. And the correct answer is girls. Remember, they usually begin their puberty between the ages of 8 and 11, while boys begin their puberty between ages 9 and 12. Now, that was a simple question. Let's move on to question number 2. Refers to the period of life in which kids transform into adults. Is it A, adolescence, or B, puberty? Time's up. Show me your answers. Adolescence. My answer is uh, puberty. The correct answer is adolescence. Puberty refers to the changes that kids experience during adolescence the period of life in which they transform from kids into adults. Now, let's take a look at that score. It seems like Alex goes ahead with two correct questions, while Manolo and Gigi are behind by one. But don't worry, it's not the end yet. We still have one final question. Anything can happen. Our third question is a little bit harder than the others because it has no options. And the question says, which is the main female sex hormone. Okay, time to reveal your answers, everyone. Progesterone? Uh, I think my answer is progesterone. Wow! Everyone got the same answer! The same incorrect answer! While progesterone is a female sex hormone, it's not the main one. The main hormone responsible of puberty changes is estrogen. Remember that, kids? Estrogen is the main sex hormone in girls. That means that the contestant moving on to the next phase is... Alex! Give everyone a big applause for Alex. Very big applause. Alex, tell us, are you excited about this? Yeah, I never thought I would make it so far in this show. Now, before we move on to the next phase, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a biotechnologist and I really love sports. A biotechnologist? No wonder how you made it this far against the mechatronic engineer and a game developer, am I right? <laughs> now, Alex, let me remind you, for the final phase of the game, I have the seven remaining questions off the board right here. I will ask them one by one, and you'll have 10 seconds to answer each one of them. If you make one mistake, you lose. But, if you answer them all correctly, you can be the great winner of today! And a reminder for everyone at home, don't forget to type in your answers for this round as well. There will be seven questions, seven questions. That means you have to send in seven answers through the chat. You'll have 10 seconds in each question to send in your answer A or B. 
Okay, so be ready for the next round of questions. Now that being said, Alex, are you ready? Yeah. Alex, let's not wait no more and move on to the final session of this show. Remember at home to send in your answers as A or B. Moving on to the final seven questions, Alex. Question number one, which is the male sex hormone? A, testosterone, or B, testis? Um, testosterone. Correct. Question number two. Puberty usually begins at the age of A, 14, or B, 9. Mm, nueve. Correct again. Moving on, question number three. Reproductive organs can also be known as A, sex ads, or B, gonads. Gonads? That's right, gonads. Question number four. Having pimples in your face, it's a puberty condition also known as A. Acne or B. Body odor. Acne. Right, acne. Whew, that was close. <clears throat> Question number five. Usually, adolescence is known as a time of A, communication, or B, self-discovery. Um, self-discovery. That's right, self-discovery, that was a top one. Question number six. One way to fight body odor is by A, washing your face, or B, wearing deodorant. Wearing deodorant. Of course, wearing deodorant will help you fight body odor. And now, moving on to the final question. Alex, if you answer this correctly, you will be the big winner of the show. But if you answer this incorrectly, you go home. Let's move on. Ready, everyone? If a teenager feels sad or depressed during puberty, they should A, talk to an adult, or B, make a TikTok about it. Make, make, make a TikTok about it. Oh no, what? That's not the correct answer, Alex. If a teenager is feeling that way, they should obviously talk to an adult. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're going home as the loser today. Well, tough luck for our contestants today, but I hope someone at home got all the correct answers and maybe you will get a nice grade. That was everything for us today. Keep in tune for the next show. I'll see you next week.